For agriculture, every election is important, as a majority of our elected officials don't know or understand rural Texas. That's one reason why Brazos County rancher Kyle Cassell threw his hat in the political ring. He left the pastures of Tonkaway Ranch near College Station to spend 15 months on the campaign trail. Redistricting opened up a new house seat, and he felt he was just the man for the job. Apparently, a majority of his neighbors thought so too. After the votes were counted, Kyle became state representative for the newly created House District 12. This particular district that has a no urban cities, I mean it is rural Texas, right in between Bryan College Station and Waco. What an incredible opportunity to serve my fellow Texans and my friends in this district as we've traveled and, and done business and raised our family here for the last 20 years. Advocating for agriculture in the state capital seems like a perfect fit for this wildlife and cattle rancher. He earned a political science degree from Texas A&M and studied ranch management at TCU. But it was an invitation to tag along to a Farm Bureau meeting in the early 90s that helped set him on the path to Austin. After joining Texas Farm Bureau in 1993, he has served at just about every level of the organization, from County Farm Bureau President to chairing the State Wildlife Advisory Committee. In fact, at the same time he was shaking hands with potential constituents, he was also learning vital leadership skills as part of Ag Lead 10. I credit the Farm Bureau for giving us the skills, giving us the opportunity to step out of our comfort zone and lead. And so agriculture is in good hands thanks to the Texas Farm Bureau, there's no doubt. And I would not be where I am today without their help and assistance and friendship. Now that the campaign is over, the real work begins. The session starts on January 8th and lasts for 140 days. Some of the issues he hopes to tackle before adjournment in May include education, economic development, and water. He's already learned that Austin is far removed from rural Brazos County, but he hopes he can be a voice for agriculture and rural Texas as he serves on the House floor, maybe helping some of his urban peers remember their roots. We know agriculture. And then as I dip into the world of Austin, we realize there's very few rural representatives these days. The whole reason we started this is to be an advocate for agriculture. For TFB News, Ed Wolf, College Station. <laughs>